Hi, I'm Brian Wilson at Speaker Restaurant in Philadelphia. Today I'm going to show you a fig and goat cheese pizza. Um, in July and August, figs are perfect season for them because they're nice and sweet. Um, goat cheese balances out the sweetness and a great little flavor, tangy goat cheese goes great with the, with the figs. So with our homemade pizza dough, we're going to add some olive oil. Use a good quality olive oil on this pizza because you are going to use it really as a flavor component, component on this pizza. We're gonna add some salt and pepper right to the dough um, instead of on top of everything. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out our figs, try to arrange them as nice as possible because it's not much onto the pizza, but the flavors are very, very bright. And you want, want to make it look very appealing also. So we're gonna use these nice ripe figs. And then we're gonna use a goat cheese that's a somewhat drier goat cheese, not too dry, not too crumbly, but not too moist. It's just right in the middle. You want it just to be enough to stick to your fingers because you want it to melt nice in the oven and uh, kind of cover the bottom of that pizza. Once we get this goat cheese all around, add a little bit more. Then we'll be ready to put this right in the oven. Okay, we're gonna put our fig and goat cheese pizza in the oven. This oven cooks very hot. It's about 800 degrees on the top, 650, 700 degrees on the bottom, uh, unlike your home oven. Uh, so this way the pizza will only cook about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes at the max. I call this more of a white pizza, so I don't want it all the way back. I wanna keep it kind of in the middle. Uh, this way the pizza doesn't you know, cook before the toppings do. Uh, I really want the heat to kind of bring out all the flavors of the figs. So the pizza with the fig and goat cheese is, looks about ready. It's got a nice crispy crust. The figs have been cooked. You can really tell that they're starting to caramelize on top and the goat cheese just melted enough. So this pizza is definitely ready. Mm -hmm.